I'm Reinhard Kate, and welcome to episode 27 of The Ripple Drop. Today we've got Monica Long on, who's gonna talk all things NFTs, and specifically XLS20, the protocol designed for NFTs on the XRP. Hey guys, welcome back to Make Money Online. I got some pretty interesting news for today. Like always, something is going on right now that I haven't talked about a lot that I think is really going to be absolutely huge for the XRP price. This latest update will definitely do a ton for the Ripple asset, pretty much taking it off the invisible zone since it had been flying pretty much under the radar. Right now, we know that we have some pretty massive upgrades coming to the XRP ledger, just like we've talked about in the past. We all know about XLS20, which will add NFT support and its other related functionalities directly on the XRPL. Whether you love or hate this coin, one important fact to keep in mind is that XRP is here to stay. Cryptocurrencies are here to stay. And the earlier you come to terms with that, the better for your financial success. Soon, XRP is going to garner some massive adoption in the future from these banks and financial institutions. NFTs are going to have a ton of use cases, whether it's for land rights, property rights, public health records. Anything that needs to be stored online and needs to be tied to a specific person can be done with XRP through this new upgrade with NFTs. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'd always be notified whenever we post a new video. And what's exciting about NFTs is there's now a greater opportunity for the creator or the artist to monetize their work and, and build a tighter relationship with their fan base and, and that community. And we've definitely seen that with projects like Apes and Punks. The second reason that um, putting these assets on the blockchain matters is transparency. Blockchains have the inherent attribute of, you know, they're global public open ledgers. And so there's this uh, then global record and single source of truth around ownership of that asset. Right now, the entire world's financial landscape is experiencing earth-shaking changes with the advent of crypto and the rapid growth of the fintech and DeFi spaces. What's even more interesting is that we're still at the early stages. We're seeing a lot of bullish activity with JPEGs in the form of NFTs, which are none other than ordinary multimedia images pegged to a wallet address on Web3. But having hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of value, as that is very likely not going to stop anytime soon. I think at their core, what's exciting about NFTs is the concept of owning these digital objects. So be it art, like a PFP project, like apes or punks or, or other forms of art, or if it's something like real estate or even carbon credits, the, the applications of NFTs can extend to, to lots of different industries. But the the core idea is about ownership, and I think that matters for, for two reasons. One is uh, bringing the seller and buyer relationship closer together. So taking art as the example, today there's a lot of intermediaries in, in the mix between the creator and the fan. So those are the rent takers and friction makers in the whole process. What's also important to realize is that NFTs are going to cause a ton of adoption. We've already seen that happening on these other blockchains like Ethereum, Matic, Solana, and others. The idea of NFT support on the XRP ledger is really, really significant. It's going to cause a lot more theories like adoption to happen on the XRP ledger. It's going to cause a lot more XRP to be used up in terms of minting fees during the process of minting the NFTs. These adoptions by people using the XRP ledger more often than not will likely have a big impact on the price of XRP going forward. So firstly, specifically regarding the XRP Ledger, um, XRP Ledger was the first to enable the tokenization of any form of value onto the ledger. And it also introduced to the world the concept of a decentralized exchange. So you, can, you could, all the way back to 2012, tokenize anything of value onto the ledger and then have this robust marketplace within the decentralized exchange to trade it and move it around the world. Kind of calling back to its origins, XRP Ledger has always been great at the creation of tokens and the exchange of tokens uh, to, to be very efficient at large scale. So we think there's a real opportunity to support developers and creators building NFT projects in a way that's really efficient. So as one specific aspect of efficiency um, to drill down on, you know, we all read about the horrific and painful high gas fees on other chains. That's value that's taken away from the creator and it kind of is absorbed into the chain. Um, in the case of XRP Ledger, the, the transaction fees or gas fees are about half a penny. So we think that's a really 
powerful value proposition to anyone building a, an NFT project. And as more of the demand gets tied up, it's also pertinent to note that more big updates are definitely to be expected for this coin. By the time these upgrades are fully rolled out, with a new XRP incoming and fully functional, then the thought of a 3, 4, or even 5 figure price value for XRP can't be ignored. So whatever you do, make sure you hodl some XRP. Remember in a previous video I talked about a shocking and massive timeline being revealed. Check out that video if you want to find out more, but in the meantime, I'm really excited about this. And this is what gets me really excited, because for a while now we've seen the XRP ledger in this state, where it seemed as if it was built solely and particularly well for cross-border remittances. At the time, developers were having a hard time really adopting the ledger and making it their own. However, all of that is about to change with the launch of the XRP ledger's XLS20 protocol, a new standard to help developers build more advanced and innovative NFT applications on the XRP ledger. Yes, so XLS20, a bit about that, a little bit of history. So since 2012, there was this ability to tokenize anything of value onto the ledger. Once we had this insight uh, that you know, developers and creators of NFT projects could really benefit from the just inherent attributes of XRP Ledger, we sought to improve the, uh, or contribute uh, uh, something that would improve the ability to create NFTs on XRP Ledger. We proposed a new amendment to XRP Ledger called XLS20, and we built this new standard. And what it does is it makes uh, the, the creation of NFTs on XRP Ledger uh, very compact and efficient, so it doesn't uh, Im impact ledger performance um, and create a lot of congestion at scale. And it also makes the experience for the developer creating that NFT really easy. So uniquely, it doesn't implement smart contracts, which is typically how you create NFTs on other chains. What that does or what it means is that it, it kind of reduces the additional security risks that smart contracts introduce um, as well as some of the complexity and room for For a while there, it seemed to be that the XRP Ledger was really good for payments and really good at that one thing. But tell you what, in terms of utility, the XRP Ledger is almost more versatile than any other blockchain out there. Because in addition to the speculations that it would be used as the bridge currency for the CBDCs, given the Ripple team's development of a dedicated sidechain for countries looking to kickstart or even build their own CBDC, the XRP Ledger also adds to the list a super efficient transaction processing feature. And now the announcement of the launch of its XLS20, which makes the XRP Ledger customizable enough for developers and other third-party programmers to come in and really do what they want with the Ledger. And to add to that, just the other day, David Schwartz published that the XRP Ledger would also be undergoing an upgrade called XLS30, and that would add automated market makers to the XRP Ledger. Now, in my opinion, this is really big, and this is going to be a game changer. Also important is the upcoming launch of the Flare Network, a distributed network with some unique features that foster its utility for the creation of a two-way bridge between networks, such as the Ethereum smart contract protocol and the XRP Ledger system. With this, XRP tokens can be used with smart contracts. In the same vein, it allows XRP holders to mint FXRP by sending their XRP tokens to a dedicated address on the Ripple blockchain. Once received into this special address, these XRP tokens are then cloned into an equivalent amount of FXRP on the Flare network, which the XRP holder can claim. The value of XRP on the Flare network is maintained through arbitrage, a launch that is enough to boost the price of XRP tokens even higher due to XRP holders who are holding XRP during a certain period. More so, the extra gains amassed from the FLR tokens could see the price of XRP going higher. As crypto enthusiasts and investors anxiously anticipate the launch of the Flare network, which is set to take place in the second quarter of 2021. Now, with the inclusion of these automated market makers who are really, really important to any decentralized finance or DeFi platform, as they allow indexes to work seamlessly and really well. And it's one of the few places in DeFi we've seen a ton of reliability. Since its launch, decentralized exchanges or DEX seems to have always been pretty stable, as they haven't had any big issues, thus they make a lot of adoption happen for the native asset of the platform. We could take a good example with most popular decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and PancakeSwap, where we have tens and maybe even hundreds of billions of dollars tied up in these protocols, which in turn creates constant demand and a constant supply shock on the native tokens of these platforms. A similar model and modus operandi that the Ripple team has directly built on the XRP ledger. And to think that these leading DEX platforms like Uniswap are objectively built upon ERC-20 compliant platforms, working on the Ethereum network goes to show how these protocols don't ship, have a native automated market maker support, which is why I strongly think that the XRP Ledger is soon going to have this feature. And XRP enthusiasts like you and I 
can be able to earn a yield on these XRPs as we hold them. By utilizing this decentralized exchange, this decentralized liquidity pool is going to be so big for the XRP ledger and cause so much adoption. The second prong to it is that we, you know, today there's a lot of different really interesting use cases in the realm of arts and media and entertainment, but looking into the future, we see that NFTs will expand to have lots of enterprise applications and even in financial services. So we think these core NFT capabilities are going to be important to, for example, RippleNet customers in the future. That was from the CEO of the Gold Secure Currency, or GSX for short, talking about some of their latest mining updates so far. The Gold Secure Currency is a stable coin-like cryptocurrency with an ever-increasing asset backing of a secured asset trust, currently estimated to be worth over $7 billion. It can facilitate growth like a traditional cryptocurrency. The adoption of GSX as an everyday usable currency is underway, allowing daily marketplace usage thanks to its sub two second transaction speeds and stable growing value. Noxwire being the core medium in Noxwire, GSX is offered as leverage and pre funding, giving financial institutions greater incentives and flexibility in international transfers when using GSX. Once again, for those who are not familiar with this new and innovative digital asset and would love to learn more about it, Make sure you look through the links in the description section below for that of the GSX official website. That's it for today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.